What's up guys? In today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to enable virtualization on your Windows 11 computer. So the first step is to check if virtualization is actually enabled. To do that, go to the start menu of your Windows 11 computer, click on it, and then type the CMD, and then right click and run as administrator. Click on yes if you're asked if you want to allow changes and the CMD will come up and in the CMD you want to type the command system info dot exe and then hit enter and basically you're requesting to see the system information of your computer. Now what you're looking for inside the system info is the Hyper-V requirements. And under that, you're looking for virtualization enabled in firmware. You can see mine says yes, which means it's enabled. But if yours says no for some reason, then I'll be showing you how to enable virtualization. So close that. So what you want to do is go to the BIOS. The quickest way to go to the BIOS from your Windows 11 computer is by going to the Start button, click on it, and then click on the Power button and then put your mouse cursor over the restart button and then press shift and hold shift on your keyboard and then click on restart. And that will restart your computer in recovery mode. So once you're here, click on troubleshoot and then click on advanced options and then go ahead and click on UEFI firmware settings and that will take you to your computer's firmware or what many people call the BIOS. Alternatively, depending on what computer you have, you can restart your computer and press the key or the button on your keyboard that normally takes you into the firmware or to the BIOS. So for this one, I'll click on that and then click on restart. So once you get into your BIOS, use the menu at the top to navigate right to advanced. And then under advanced, select CPU and chipset configuration. Once it's selected, press enter on your keyboard. And then in there, scroll down to Intel VT. Intel VT basically means Intel virtualization. And as you can see, mine is enabled, just like you saw in the command prompt. But to enable, press enter on your keyboard. And you're going to have the option to disable or to enable Intel VT, which is Intel virtualization. So select enabled, press enter, and that will enable virtualization on your Windows PC. And for this tutorial, I'm using an Acer computer, so it might be slightly different in different manufacturers' BIOS setups. But for this one, this is how it's done. And once it's enabled, go ahead and press F10 to save an exit. So F10 on your keyboard, that will save an exit, confirm by pressing yes and your computer will restart having enabled virtualization and that's basically how to enable virtualization on your windows 11 computer now like i mentioned these specific instructions are for acer but you can use more or less the same instructions for any other motherboard manufacturer thanks for watching leave your comments and questions down below and good luck